And uh, cut through all of the complications that we make. Eh, como cortando todas esas eh, complejidad que, que nosotros hacemos. But, so, but selfing, like someone like that, helping others, they're open all the time. They're not. Entonces estas personas que ayudan a los demás están siempre son completamente abiertas. Like Lama, there were a lot of people that would practice the Dharma, and they would use all of these teachings to become incredibly tight. O como el Dharma también se daba la situación de a lo mejor algunas personas que conocían el Dharma y pues su contacto con las enseñanzas les hacía les volvía muy tenso. And they would take it and they use it to become the most uptight people on the planet. Acababa siendo las personas más tensas en el planeta. Dharma noids, whatever. Dharma what? Dharma noids. It's just a name. Vale, okay. It's just a but anyway, you'd see it a lot, and he would see it, and so they would use the teachings instead of to become more open, more generous, more etc. Like, oh, I'm going to go to hell, oh, They wouldn't use the Dharma to motivate them to open, they would use it to close up and be more free. Y en vez de abrirse, gracias al Dharma, se cerraban más y más. And more self-centered sometimes. Y eso hombre también, pues, más egoístas, más egoístas. So, Lama would come up, sometimes there was someone like that, and I saw, I witnessed it a number of times, he would come up and he'd say, are you enjoying your life? Y la verdad es que yo lo presenté varias veces, ¿no? Que cuando Lama encontraba algunos de estos, se acercaba a él y decía, ¿tú estás disfrutando de tu vida? And he'd go, yes. I mean, no. Yes. I mean, no. And because if they said yes, then that then they're sinning, and if they said no, then you know. Either way. And so he would say, "You should enjoy your life, dear." He said, "Cariño, disfruta un poquito más de la vida." You can't get nirvana together. You should at least have a good time. <laughs> and he would also say, you know, the Dharma is like, is a happy mind. And, and, and one of the things he said, because if you study mind and mental factors, every mind has to have a light, substantial cause, right? You know? And he would say, a happy mind is uh, a misery. You know, he would say, a miserable mind can never be the cause for a happy mind. Y una de las cosas que decía era que una mente como infeliz, la palabra que usaba miserable, una mente que sufre, nunca jamás puede ser la causa de una mente feliz. So simple, he always goes, so simple, isn't it? <laughs> What's the matter with you people? <laughs> the Dharma is so easy. <laughs> Same with emptiness, everything he explained like that. <laughs> and so people would be turning themselves into knots, making their Dharma self-existent, and them more self-existent, and more self-cherishing, instead of cherishing others a bit more and taking oneself a little less seriously. Entonces, eh, pues la gente esta que cuando encontraba, empezaba a practicar el Dharma, se tomaba tan a pecho, se cerraba tanto, se tensaba tanto, todo tenía mayor y más consistencia, y, y, y ellos mismos sentían más esa consistencia en sí mismos. Yeah. Eh, y, y, que, y que se toman demasiado en serio las cosas, demasiado a pecho. One time, he was saying, he was saying, somebody was saying, how can we enjoy, there, maybe there was being, maybe ice cream was being passed out in Copan or something, mm -hmm. rare event. And somebody goes like, <laughs> how can we be eating, enjoying ice cream when the people down in Boda are, are hungry, you know? <laughs> and he goes, you people are so emotional, you're so emotional, you know? <laughs> you, know? <laughs> you know, it's like, it's, you just, 
yeah, work for the work for the people in Boda. Work for them in a conventional way. Work for them in an ultimate way. But enjoy your ice cream. You know? <laughs> Don't make it taste like poison because the people out of guilt. You know, guilt. <laughs> so he would just cut your things off. Same with like the Dalai Lama. He could put things in a really simple way. You know. Uh, one of them I'm sure you've always heard, you've heard many times, and it's a, uh, if there's a problem, if you can do something, why worry? If you can't do anything, why worry? Pues boom, end, end the problem. <laughs> and uh, how many nights I don't know, I, how many nights of sleep have I lost worrying about something that I can't deal with right now? <laughs> and then the Dalai Lama says, everybody wants to know what they were in their last life, you know? Was that, well, I want to know if I was an Egyptian princess. Or <laughs> and the Dalai Lama, he goes, if you want to know what you were in your last life, look at your body. Because you were born human, with all these conditions, so you in your past life you were made to do positive things. And he says, you want to know what you're going to be in your next life? Look at your mind. <laughs> That's a pretty frightening thought, isn't it? <laughs> so, yeah, all those things get reduced down to very great simplicity. Mm -hmm.